Alrighty, hosses, welcome back. And now that we understand the basics of SEO, what I want to do now is I want to show you guys a bunch of tools that I use to pretty much automate a bunch of stuff, help you find problems, and a bunch of cool software that will help you with SEO. And the first one I want to talk to you guys about is Site Analyzer. Now, if you go to siteanalyzer.com, go ahead and make a quick profile. And a lot of these tools, they have free plans and paid plans. So what you can do is you can actually watch these videos. And if it looks like something you would you know, ever use, then you can sign up for it. But yeah, I'll give you guys a quick little demo of it. So essentially what this is, siteanalyzer.com, you can probably guess by the name, but you put in your website and it scans it and it tells you all of the problems with it and gives you a bunch of tips of how you can improve your search engine optimization results. So, well, let me just go ahead and give you guys a quick demo. So this is the dashboard right here. And whenever you first log in, this is what you get. And you probably aren't going to be spending too much time here. This is kind of just a brief overview of, you know, your account. What you really want to do is you want to hop down to this right here, page analysis. So this page analysis is for analyzing one single web page. So say that you just want to analyze the home page. You can go ahead and run that. Now this crawls right here. I'll talk to you guys more about this page analysis in just a second. But this crawl right here, this is whenever you want to crawl your entire website. So every single page on it. So even though you, of course, want to improve every single web page on your website, whenever you just first get started um, using this tool, I always recommend just scanning the home page first. Now, the reason for that is even though you want to improve a bunch of pages, a lot of the problems that you're going to find on your homepage, they're going to be the same problems on all your web pages. So let's say that whenever we scan this homepage, so again, just type in the URL right here and hit analyze, and it's going to take a bit of time. What it's going to do is let's say it returns, um, hey, your titles are too long. Well, I don't need to scan 500 web pages on my website in you know it says the title's too long the title's too long so that's why like i said i always recommend just doing one at a time so let's see what we got for my home page all right so you see that whenever we analyze a page it takes a couple seconds and then it gives us our results the first one is just an overall score and this is just site analyzer score from zero to 100 so my website not very good 59.2 it actually used to be a lot worse but we're working on it slowly. You know, there's a bunch of other crap I got to fix on it first. But whenever it scans it, like I said, it gives you the score. It also gives you a quick summary and problems or issues that you can work on. So here are all the problems right here. Um, it needs an H1 title, a heading two, um, some micro data, yada, yada. It needs a site map. We're in the process of making that right now. So if you just want some real quick overviews or tips on how you can improve then go ahead and check that out but a cool thing about this is it actually breaks it down into individual categories as well so this is your summary if you click on seo what this is is pretty much a section of think about how google views your site so this is pretty much what the search engine is going to see and if you start scrolling down it's going to look at all of the different factors relating to SEO. So it's going to look at the page title. It's going to look at the meta description, um, robots.txt. We already talked about a lot of these things. Now, if there's ever something that you aren't really sure what it means, then what you can do is you can just click right in there. Now, whenever you click it, this yellow pop up is going to appear and it's just going to give you some more information. So you're like, all right, I know what site maps are. I know all that. Um, what's this? alternative text not sure what that is oh i forgot the alt tags in the images and all that so there you go and another cool thing is you're like all right i know that i need alt tags in my images but uh what images are they talking about this one my face or you know these icons at the top if you just click see images they'll say hey you need to add alt tags to these images right here those are the ones we scan so it's pretty much just telling you you know every single thing you need to know which is pretty sweet so that's what the seo tab is now the content tab content is essentially as you know it's pretty much the information about the text and the keywords on your page 
So I already told you guys that Google likes pages with lots of content on it. So a site like Wikipedia, where you know there's a bunch of text on it, a bunch of good information, those are awesome pages. Now my homepage, you can see we really don't got that much text. We got this little chunk right here, you know, a couple of these little snippets. But again, this is the homepage, not that much text. So I really don't got, you know, that great of a score. Um, I don't know, maybe like some of the forum pages would be better. But again, whenever you're making web pages that you want Google to index and rank high, make sure that you have a large amount of text rather than, you know, just like a little slideshow type site. I hate those. Everyone probably hates them. And uh, Google doesn't like them either. So again, that's what content is. Pretty much the actual content, keywords, um, you know, all that stuff. Pretty self-explanatory. Now let's hop over to design. So this says design, but it's kind of like design slash development. This is more of the technical aspect of your site. So you can see things. So basically, this is what you would show your web designer or web developer. Be like, hey, you need to fix these things. So stuff like doc type, char set, basically making sure that your website follows all the proper guidelines and also make sure that your site is safe and secure. If Google finds a vulnerability or something like a big security issue with your site, that's actually a ranking factor so you aren't gonna be ranked as high in the search results. So it says, hey, these things are good. You know, you don't have any public emails. Um, you use HTTPS. So you have a secure connection rather than just plain old plain text HTTP and some other things that I should probably work on. So there you go. And another tab is performance. So performance is important for your website for a lot of problems. First of all, if your website's really slow, then no one's gonna go to it anyway. So don't even worry about SEO because even if they could find it, they're just gonna leave because everything loads really slow. And second of all, Google and search engines, they actually punish sites with slow loading times and pretty much bad performance. So again, it's not only a bad user experience, but Google will hate you too. Now, I actually uh, read something online a while ago. It said that Yahoo increases their traffic 9% for every half a second of loading time. So if, if you can just decrease your loading time, by um, half a second, that's like a 10% increase in your users. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but I read it online, so it's pretty cool. I also read another thing. It says, for every 10th of a second, um, Amazon booster load time, they get 1% in revenue, 1% more revenue. So, I mean, just, you know, optimize some scripts and hey, your revenue's going through the roof. I don't know. Again, I don't know if those are true or not, but they're online, so... I'll believe them. I'll believe anything I read online. All right, let's go ahead and take a look what's here. So we got a nice little overview and down here is where all the good stuff is. It says, all right, execution time, page caching. If you don't know what caching is, it's pretty much saving stuff like uh, images and other resources so you don't have to connect to the server and load them every time. For example, like whenever I went to this homepage right here. I saw my image. You see my beautiful face right there. Well, now let me go ahead and click on that and go to my profile page. And you see my face is right here. I got the icon down here. Um, you know, my icon down here. Now, anytime I want to see this icon, you know, clicking back and forth, going to different pages, that means it has to connect to the new Boston server and load that image again. Well, that's kind of the pain in the butt. I'm loading the same resource over and over again. So why don't I just cache it, aka save it in my browser's memory. So then whenever, you know, the new Boston says, hey, display this image right here, I don't have to connect to the server again. So again, that's what caching is. Um, inline CSS, I'm sure you guys know what that is. Script location, it does make a difference if you if your page is waiting to load the JavaScript or not. And you can also do some cool things with loading them. But yeah, that's what this tab is. Go ahead and click on any of those for details. And this last one is accessibility. So this has to do a lot with user experience. And also, it's a huge boost to make sure that your site is responsive. 
make sure that your site looks good on every single device whether it's tablets whether it's you know just phones of course desktops and laptops so again Google actually started uh, punishing sites that weren't responsive a little bit ago so it says hey this is what it looks like on different devices and some other things as well again a lot of this is user experience and you know some social little indicators Facebook Twitter Google Plus so yeah there you go so that's a real quick overview of site analyzer the dashboard in the page analysis and in the next video I'll show you guys the crawls and how you can actually generate reports if you're you know doing this for a customer so pretty cool see you then